Small profiled buzz baits in clear, clear water like this really get their attention. They see a lot of the larger profiled buzz baits, and what they see a lot of, they ignore. That's why I like to make my own stuff. This is one I made called a keel buzz. I got the mold from Do It Molds. This is the buzz keel lure, also known as a very small quarter ounce buzz bait. Um, <clears throat> the reason I love making spinner baits and buzz baits uh, with do it molds is because I can use a hook that's smaller than what it calls for. A lot of the spinner baits and buzz baits out there on the market are I, I think have too large of a hook. Now this one calls for a three out hook in the quarter ounce. I have yet to see even the smallest buzz bait hook straightened out during the fight so I go with the thinnest diameter hook that will fit into the cavity. Very nice. Nice light wire hook in there. That one out where they called for the three out. <clears throat> That's going to be a sticky little buzz bait by the time we're done tying that up. All right, now that we have a bunch of these heads for the keel buzz poured up and painted up with the powder paint, it's time to start tying a little bit. Um, I love to use bucktail for spinner baits, for buzz baits. Um, this is this is one where the, the bucktail, a little bit of white bucktail, I'll just take a pinch of that, uh, tie it right onto the neck of the keel buzz, and I'll follow up with some just some silicone skirt material. Um, I might add a little bit of mylar flash or flashaboo, because we are imitating, you know, bait fish profiles skirting along underneath some sort of disturbance on the surface. So anything flashy, anything that, you know, says, hey, here's here's a minnow or some sort of bait fish is a good thing. And, uh, yeah, the, the mylar flash is some good stuff. Then you can add your, <clears throat> your hardware. And I like these little aluminum counter-rotating uh, buzz bait blades. What you end up with here is a keel buzz that with the counter rotating blades you can really creep along. You can really kick it into low gear. One technique I like to use with a buzz bait like this is what I call amphibious buzz baiting. Amphibious, as in amphibian, frog, anything that's in the water and out of the water. Uh, I don't know that they look like frogs, but they certainly, behavior-wise, the way a buzz bait moves, it, it is in and out of the water. It's, it, critters that are swimming along the surface are obviously not in their, their own environment. They're crossing the water to get to something solid. Um, so intentionally casting over rocks, logs, grass beds, sandbars, gravel bars. is a great strike trigger. Usually I get hit right as it's approaching it or right after it crosses over. The design of the keel buzz head lends itself to this style of presentation. It keeps the hook upright away from potential snags. Ha <laughs> ha!